You've got a couple of books. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know you from your first book, which was Fresh Off the Boat. Yes. Which was made into a series on ABC. Yes. All right. <laughs> You've got an, a new one now called Double Cup Love on the Trail of Family Full Food and Broken Hearts in China. Yes. What was the story? You went to China to cook Chinese food for Chinese people? Yes. I, I went to China because I wanted to know the first book is all about my family's migration from China to Taiwan to America. And then we figured out and created our place in America. But I thought after writing the book, I said, well, can I go back and be Chinese? Like, can I go back to the motherland? So I went on the streets of China and we cooked Chinese food for Chinese people. And it was funny. They all wanted me to make spaghetti and meatballs. Everyone wanted Italian food. <laughs> You know, in China, they know me as like the human pizza hut. They're like, you're American. You must be able to make spaghetti and meatballs. And I was like, well, yeah, I can. I make fire spaghetti and meatballs, but I want to cook for you the food that like I ate at home as a Chinese person in America and see if this is accurate. And, and what did they say? Did you, did you pass muster? You know, they loved it, but they, they did say this. They were like, we can definitely see where this comes from in our culture. The roots are in China. But undoubtedly, like, you don't have to keep thinking about whether you're Chinese because you are Chinese. The diaspora is very important. Wherever you are, if you're Jamaican or Puerto Rican or Chinese and you're born in America, like, you're part of it. You're not disconnected. You can't be disconnected. And whatever you do, it is Chinese or it is Jamaican or it is Puerto Rican, but it's in your own voice. And I think that was the most beautiful thing was that I, I can't help but do this.